April Morrow. I just taught a West Coast swing. Mark Hare assisted the class. We did um, a couple of whips. We did a car wash whip and we did a decapitative uh, whip. Let's go ahead and start with the car wash. Actually, can we do it in this direction? Alright, ready? And one, two, three, up, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, up, four, five, up, six. Let's go ahead and do it again from this direction. Ready? And one, two, three. Oh, that is the same direction. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it from this direction. Ready? And one, two, three, up, four. Right here. I walk forward on my four. We both go to walk on our five, and he draws the arm through and slightly pushes it away so I don't rotate with him. I step through my six and give me a triple for seven at eight. Ladies, always crossing in front and not behind. Be careful of how far you go. You don't want to get overextended, right? So watch your distance there. That This way, you come out of this with a nice split for one, two, and to the other side. So leads for you up to count four of a whip. Um, it's it's very much just like a basic whip with an inside turn. You're going to over step a little bit and over rotate your center. Can we stop on count four to, to show that? And one, two, three, uh, four. So he overstepped and over rotated, bringing room to bring the arm through there so that you don't overcrowd shooting the lady out of the slot. This allows her to stay in her slot right there. And gentlemen, bring that right arm around and really be looking, right, and looking for her to make that connection to get into that right to right for what we did next. And what we did next was from a right to right. Now we'll do it a couple of different ways. So from here we went into the decapitative whip. It comes out of a reverse whip. One, two, catch the shoulder and move the head. Now let's do that again from this direction. Ready, and one, two, three, up. <laughs> you can see where the name comes from, right? Ladies, make sure you're not here on your four. This is West Coast Swing, excuse me, not Cha Cha. So on four of a whip, any type of redirection where I'm walking forward, I never go all the way up over my three toe base. I'm hanging back on my four. Mark here pulls back on my shoulder for five, rolling out six, offering me the arm for seven at uh, eight all the way down, keeping the connection. That was one way we did that pattern. We also did it from a right to right for one, two, three, up, four, five, make a hand change, six, she can head this down for seven, up, eight, ending up in a lead right to a lady's left uh, handle for the pattern to go from there. The other way we did this from the right to right was that from this way, is we did it um, with a sit drop. Ready? And one, two, three, up, four, five, catch their six, seven, up, eight. And ladies, you can use your right leg or your left leg to go down right there. Um, can we do that from this direction? The other direction? Yes. Here we go. Ready? And one, two, three, up, four, five, six, seven. If I don't want to go down on the right foot, I just don't swing it around and bring it back to find him. I use my left foot and go down on it and leave my left foot out or catch myself on my right foot and use both of them. Sometimes I'll kick it up. I mean, there's just so many different things, ladies, that you can do right there to play with that. So um, we put the two whips together. We'll start with the car wash whip. Four, one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, one, two, three, uh, four, five, uh, six, one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I didn't know which one he was going to do, and I wasn't going to go down until I felt him start to lower me. So ladies, don't take yourself down. Wait for your lead. Good job, everybody. Thank you.